Eastern Connecticut in their conference home opener of 2021 as they welcomed in Rhode Island College and the leading scorer in the conference, Cheyenne Darby, at just under 21 points a game. Jalen Williams ready to take him on as he'd have a big day in this one in the Geister Gymnasium. But the story early on was Darby not able to find the bottom of the net in the first half. As you see him missing a three there, another step back jumper not able to go. And then Darby a deep three pointer. That one won't fall. And then things not working from outside. Darby trying to get in the paint and that won't go. So Darby would finish one of 11 from the field and 0 of six from the three point line in that first half of play. But now going into the second half, it turned into the Jalen Williams show here for Eastern Connecticut for a little while. Is off the steal there in transition, flicks that home with the right hand. And then just a little while later, coming off the pin down screen here from Corey Muckle, he's able to get that three point shot to go. And then just a little while later in this second half, in transition, a nice little crossover move in the lane. Floater gets that one to go as Williams would have 12 and he would finish with all of them in the second half. Anchorman would not go away though, however. Here's Jordan Riley off the putback of a Dante Law miss three to cut the lead to three. And then after a free throw, Riley getting to the rim right at the chest of Quentin Lott gets that to go to knock things up at 61. Then with things tied at 63 just a couple minutes later, what a play here from Kate Essinger over to Rakesh Tibby. That would give the Warriors a two-point lead, 65-63. Then perhaps the biggest play of this game for Eastern Connecticut, leading by one here, but now make it four as Jalen Williams hits a big three there for Eastern Connecticut with just about a minute 20 seconds to play. The anchorman would not back down. Here's Darby. Finally figured out things a little bit in the second half. Gets that one to go. Anchorman would have to follow, though, as Muckle hits both free throws. Head coach Tom Glynn drawing something up out of this timeout and out of the timeout. Darby trying to get in the lane to create something. Loses it. Turned over into the hands of Tyrese Woods, and they have to foul. And that would do it for Eastern Connecticut as they would go on to win 72-68 to as Williams would finish with 12 points and 8 rebounds. The Warriors' next game is coming up this Saturday against the Corsairs of UMass Dartmouth.